Hey lads, welcome back to Pooter's Customs, and today with me pu badly puppeteering him, today we'll be looking at Capsule Player or Scallop. Well, you know, as they say, if a character appears the third time on Pooter's Customs, then, um, I guess it's a good character. As you know, like, Queen Elizabeth II said that phrase about, uh, today, so... I guess she's right. But yeah, the first capsule player up in this series, but still a Tomy item nonetheless. I don't really need to go into Scallop's backstory for the third time, as I'm still work on it. I, I, I lie. But... Yeah. <laughs> So, how do I make Scallop? Like every other Scallop model, apart from the HO one, I made it out of a Diesel 10. You know, capsule player on Diesel 10. Wait, hang on, not this one. This one. That joke went very poorly, and if you're a very... What? That joke went very poorly, and if you're a capsule player or fanatic, you understand the joke. So yeah, it was ages and ages ago, I had this capsule player on Diesel 10, and I don't know what came over me, but I wanted to remove Pinchy, use the claw onto Meme Stealer from Lair Adventure number 16, which the prop is now owned by Mari, big up woman Mari for looking after the prop perfectly, that was sarcasm. And I think with the rest of it, I just painted it red and turned it into like a crummy looking warship loco thing. With an Emily tender that's gonna be like You know how the American American diesels they've got B units or whatever? That's just extra power or whatever's. I wanted to do that but with a British loco, so uh yeah. <laughs> I did that. I don't think there's any pictures surviving of it. Um but yeah, that happened. Was then afterwards, after I made Tommy scallop, as in, where's he gone? Yeah, Tommy scallop. There he is. Yeah, after I made a big chungus over there, I wanted to make little chungus. So, with that crappy warship, I found my box of. Uh, oddities of toy trains that I collect up for no reason. I just started cutting and shaping bits off that warship to become Scallop. And of course, with every model that has to relate to a Scallop, I gave him the bogey side frames and I just made him look like not like a capsule player old item, rather just a miniature wind-up toy. Uh, if we park him next to, uh, what's his name, Diesel 10, you could tell I've shortened up the cab, so I mean, scaling him up with Diesel 10 looks wrong, and Diesel 10 looks longer, when Scallop is a very long diesel. But you could see here, I cut a lot of the cabs and then just reshaped it. But because like this was such thick paint, it basically worked as filler, in a way. So all the shaping was practically done with me with the crappy painting. 
and even worked out for the vents, which the first time I did them, I actually just um, painted them on. But when I brought Scala back in for a uh, an overhaul to reshape his nose end here to make his like front look a bit more round, and I thought I'd just overhaul the whole body. You can see this big gash in the side of his body. That was my stupid cutting of not measuring up properly uh, before I even added all the decorations and all that. So the key could go in. Of course there's now this big gap in the body, which I could go over and fill, but I don't want to start spraying this down with a clear coat again when it's already been covered in greasy hand marks from me. So this will have to go in the wash and then get another repaint. You could tell the bumpy paintwork from the light right there. Look at that lovely, smooth paint job. Wow. But since with how thick the paint was, you could tell, in his second overhaul, I started just cutting out skins, basically. Literal skins of paint. And I went to the original vents. Well, not vents, bloody grills. And with a craft knife, a nice sharp blade, I dragged it along where the original uh, grills went. So then now he's just got a proper looking grill. I also did it for the doors, so that he's got proper door recesses. These overhead panel um, decals are from the Model Master sheet of DMU slash EMU decals that I got. By mistake, kind of. Along with the crests, too. They were just. That's all war slides, along with the numbers that kind of, that kind of uh, scaled up well, in a way, maybe? I don't know. But Scallop's a nice thing, and honestly, he's my little, just, little buddy I keep in my pocket for good luck. Whenever I go up to, like, I go out or go to college or whatever, and he just sits in my pocket all day. I don't even acknowledge him for the whole day, because I'm so busy. I never really get good luck anyway, but he's just there to look after me, kind of. Uh, more details, I guess. I There's his exhaust... Uh, what they call it? Cowling. There's the hatches for the engine. And there's, I think, that's the steam heat generator. But because scallops are later... 46 or whatever. I, I don't know the full technicalities. He doesn't have the steam heating anymore. So that's why on his HO, not HO, not American, his double O model, he's got, we'll, put, we'll turn that here, but there used to be like steps that reach up to the steam heat generator. They've been plated over. Yeah. Scan up here, of course, has been modeled after the Tony model, but I think there is a few. Uh, different changes I think the only one I can find is that the different nameplate placement as of course on the Tommy model it's unrealistic so he's got a big red nameplate next to his crest underneath his uh, his grill but on the wind up it's like the double O model and it's behind the grill here of course on the rear I've just got the random indicated disc poking up you can't really see on the back and I don't think I even painted them in but oh yeah I didn't paint them in huh the closed um, indicated discs I never painted them other than the one that looks like scallops nose oh sorry I'm really tired <laughs> But yeah, this was mostly constructed out of just a Playro, Diesel 10, some card and clay. Just like his big brother over here. Um, there's not much else to say, I think. Oh, the chassis. Since I kind of rebuilt him a bit, here's Diesel 10 and here's Scallop. You could tell with Diesel 10's model, his chassis goes all the way to the back. He's got like a Lionel Thomas Itis here, where he's got a bunch of overhang the front or the back. So what I did is I took the supporting peg off of the um, yeah, off of the front. Sorry, I just had a moment because 
as soon as I'm going to edit this, I don't know where to put the blooming photos for when I was building Scallop, so I might just put them, dart them around randomly in the video, because I, I, I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, I got a pair of long needle nose pliers and I just wiggled out that, um, that pole that the screw goes into, and I've re-glued it more closer to the front of the cab, so if I get some light on here, yeah, you can just see it right there. So now the chassis is more centered. Uh, because capsule plows are very light and it seems only the uh, latest capsule player models, they've got little weights in them to give them more traction. Scanner, he's got a, um, a weight under here, but I don't think it gives him much traction. I think the wind up motor I've put him in. It was my best one because it had the geared wheels with the teeth that actually grip onto the rails. Yeah, I don't think it's doing you any favours and I think it's getting worn down, honestly. This coupling on the back, this was um, the original old loop one here. That was cut off because it wasn't... When I take the body on and off, it didn't fit nicely through this gap in the buffer beam. So, with the wind-ups, uh, where, where is it in this blooming box? Ah, there we are. Yeah, this very decrepit wind-up Scarlowe that Crankster sent me a few months ago. I took the coupling off of that, because that's my favourite coupling style. Uh, I've got a bit of plastic, and I just all cemented it together to make this extended coupling that pokes out of the... The body like that and with his coach as I'm going to talk about in a minute it all matches up and he looks like a modern play role capsule play role thingy uh, is there something else I was going to talk about oh this key here you could see it's very crumpled up with the pair of pliers for some reason I, I used on it um, yeah this is going to go into one of them uh, I'll show it so I'm trying to explain it when I've got it at hand. One of these. I've only got the very early version of this. So the Eugen Japan, uh, the Eugen China even version of this with the old style track. And uh, I don't know if it's just this model or the later version, which uses these later rails, actually fixes the spacing. But because Scamp's a bit fat can't really glide through here because he gets caught on this stupid wall here that does nothing it just this stupid wall here it causes all the engines to get stuck this arm also causes them to get stuck too bloody hell i am tired and i wanted to make a blooming video but yeah i had to trim him down so he could actually fit into this winding machine i'm gonna call it I mean, I guess he fits now, and he kind of winds up. Sort of. But if I let him go... Yeah, he just, he's just stuck. Or he just doesn't really want to go, because he's just way too wide. So whenever I get like a new modern version of these, I'm going to test it out. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to give it a lot of trimming. Because I like this little contraption that Tommy made. But I don't like that it's very narrow for no reason. And all my engines, other than a few, can't even fit through it when they're trying to have a run. So that's Scallop. Uh, I also forgot to mention the buffers, if you want to know. They're the little gem things that I talk about. I just picked out a random sheet that looked nice. I can't remember what millimetre these are. I'm going to say they're probably two millimetre. No, uh, four millimetre, probably. But yeah. The two millimetre, they go on these buffers on, this, on these coaches. Which I'll talk about now, actually. When Crankster sent me that capsule player on Annie and Clarabelle, I had to go up making some coaches for Scallop, because I, as I said in the video, I wanted her to go. But I think when I started making them, I absolutely jeffed them up. I was so lost on what I wanted to do. I just wanted to reshape these 
so they didn't look like just normal Anion Clarabels, but repainted into an express livery. So I decided, oh, I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna make them into Mark Twos. So I did all the curved ends, and then I was like, oh no, I want Mark Ones or something. And then I, I did all this roof strapping, and it just. These are nothing coaches now, and now I'm starting to hate them because they look daft behind Scallop. Like, look at... doesn't couple up. There we go. Look at this! He towers over the coaches. And yes, I know all Capsule Plaro coaches are just very short, and if you put them behind a Loco, then the Loco's going to clearly tower over them, but I don't like what I've done. Like, Scallop looks like an E2 with this blooming scaling. So maybe one day I'll actually go over these again and I'll paint them like BR Blue maybe. Or I, I really like um, those uh, those Blue and Cream Express coaches that came with the talking Pyro James before he was given a wagon for some reason. I really like that livery so I might go with that whenever I redo these and actually do a proper job instead of just not filling in the useless doors on the side. Mmm, lazy. But yeah, there's a little crummy coaches that just I barely pair with Scallop anymore. He's just a free runner on his own. When if I actually rebuild them, they'll look bigger probably. Scallop have some proper sized coaches rather than these looking these buggies. But yeah, Scallop's pretty cool. I like Scallop. This is the third time I've introduced him into this bloody series. Uh, more Pootis customs coming soon, actually. It's, I know it's been like three months since I've done the last episode, and that last episode was about Scallop, you know? But I've got some commissions starting up, and I know someone wants a D199. Might be the person who, made, who I made Bear for. Mmm. So, maybe then... Instead of you rambling on about Scallop again, I'll have another go at D199 and maybe more people will see it, you know, and they'll probably learn off of me. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching again, people. I know it's been a long while, and honestly, I've just been really bored tonight and just feeling really useless. I haven't been doing anything productive. I have no projects to do. Well, I have projects to do. But I'm waiting to finish, because I just started filming a Bloomin' Levitz number 16 episode since a lot of stuff is happening in the UK and there's a lot of new memes and I want to cash in before they all go cack. Um, so I haven't been able to start on 37093 yet, but I have the paints now and I think I'll be able to do a nice little video just building 3793. Gordon here still needs to be built. Needs to be built. Needs to be repaired. He looks fine this side, but oh dear. Yeah, and the problem is nobody on eBay has the specific parts I'm looking for. I'm looking for that spacer and that crank pin there. And I try to search every option I can. And the only options I have is some daft idiot who took apart their blind scotsman and is selling those parts along with some more linkage for 20 quid 20 pounds for four little tiny pieces of metal i'm not paying 20 pounds for that much for some little pieces of metal that are going into an envelope no way buddy but yeah if I can't bloody fix Gordon, then he's just going to have to sit on the sidelines or I'm going to sell him on because I'm getting really upset and stressed working on this blooming model and I just want to fix him. I want him to run. Like James here. Like James had a good old time running around on the bloody train club layout last week and I'll throw a clip of that at the end of the video. But I just want Gordon to get working but I, I just cannot find the parts. Well... And if I can find the parts, it just comes all this other junk that I do not need. I do not need another chassis. But at this point, I may as well need another chassis. All I'm looking for is just a connecting... Like a, a conrod 
crank pin thing and a blooming spacer and that's it or even just a new gordon chassis because i'm getting sick and tired looking at this blooming idiot and i can't even fix him because no one sells the parts and i don't have the spare parts either so he makes me angry at the minute and i'm 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 feeling like a debbie downer at the minute look at his models doing nothing i mean heck even after i just released a trailer yesterday for uh the nutty shunters that honestly was just a thought was a silly little thought on the bus of like oh what if i made a little thomas series and i i just went ahead for no reason and i, I over I overdid it and now i don't know what to do <laughs> i'm absolutely stuck uh yeah i i've, I've screwed myself over <laughs> once again so um honestly i felt like cancelling it just at that moment just blooming just throw it in the bin no one remembers it just like that bloody levis number 16 q a i'm so sorry i never did that i've have the um i have the video unlisted because i just don't want to do it anymore <laughs> it's just silly maybe i'll do it again at the series finale series finale <laughs> but yeah i just cannot be bothered honestly and I'm, I'm 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 rubbish i am very rubbish at this channel now uh there's better people than me doing a better job at what i do uh and yeah this is me being a blooming debbie downer going on for 20 minutes about a toy train and um yeah brilliant well done ryan all right, I'll shut up now. Uh, I've got to edit this together. See whoever even blooming cares. Jobs to people. Yeah. Aren't we? So I'll be the advertising. I can think of the top of my head. We need someone who's good at designing a track plan. Mm -hmm. Which, from what I can tell, is none of us. Maybe so Nat. I mean, Maybe Nat. Story. I mean, flexi track is pretty much. Um, well, so we, we, we want, you know, we want at least we want nothing tied to the third rate. If we do yeah. it, we. Mm -hmm. We all come up with some ideas and things yeah. that we think need to happen on this layout, specific or general. Yeah. Like for me, specific would be the top that looks on the side and the multiple connectors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And general will be how many loops and stuff. Just come up with a few ideas, we can put them together, compare ideas, and see what 